This is day two of the impeachment trial. The House managers are continuing to push their prosecution's case against Donald Trump, and they're doing an amazing job at it, relaying the horror we saw on January 6th. Not just that, and they just showed, they've showed us video and audio that we haven't seen before, mainly radio calls us to Capitol Police declaring it a riot, screaming for help. And we also saw what the police officers tried to do to evacuate the senators and congressmen inside the Capitol and get them into a safe venue. We saw what Donald Trump supporters did breaking down the barriers that protected the Capitol. But what I think is really more important is that the House impeachment managers, especially Ted Lieu from California, actually showed us exactly what was at stake, what was being done by Donald Trump in the months before in the months before January 6. They kept, he kept building the fire that was inside the, uh, the Trump supporters, building it and building it and building it, continuing the lie that somehow the election was stolen from them. Continuing the lie that the election was just taken from them, regardless of how many lawsuits failed. No matter how many times everyone wants to remind them that the Supreme Court didn't overturn the election. They gave them, they used every single time, every single soundbite from Trump, every press conference from Trump, every rally from Trump, and yes, every single tweet from Donald Trump every single tweet from him. The fact is, Donald Trump, <laughs> you had to have known that all everything you said was going to be used against you. Everything you said on Twitter was going to be used against you. You had to have known. You had to have known that if you didn't, you're just as stupid as we thought we were, even worse more. Is being used against you, Trump. Now, the next day is probably going to be, the next few days are going to be probably the most important. Because they got to show all the evidence. I mean all of it. Every single word, every single action from Trump supporters. But there is a group of people that need to take very, very serious, this very seriously. And that group of people happens to be the Republicans in the Senate. We've seen, I've seen posts from Republicans, and I'm not just talking about Republicans as in Republican voters, I'm talking about Senators saying that this impeachment is unfair, Jim Jordan, for one. This impeachment is a big waste of time, Josh Holloway. This impeachment is revenge against Donald Trump, Ted Cruz. I really don't give a damn what you people think. You Republicans, I don't care. I'm a, like I said before, the, before, before now, I'm under no delusions in the thinking that Donald Trump's going to get convicted. We know he's probably not going to be. I can hope he is. I can hope for once justice can really prevail, seriously prevail against someone like Donald Trump. But I know it's not going to happen because you Republicans already made the choice. You're going to let him go. You're going to let him go. I posted this tweet, this tweet from Hillary Clinton earlier today. Regardless of how, if you hate her or love her, if you can't stand her, if she would just go away, she tells the truth in this tweet. If Senate Republicans fail to convict Donald Trump, it won't be because, it won't be because the facts were with him or his lawyers mounted a competent defense. It'll be because it will be because the juries included his co-conspirators. And we know what those co who those co-conspirators were. Cruz, Howey, Rubio, every single one of you who are screaming that the election was rigged, that the election needs to be overturned. Following the same point of logic that came from Donald Trump. Honestly, what Hillary Clinton said here, like I said, you can hear her guts all you want. 
But here's the thing, you don't convict, you let Donald Trump off the hook, you, as I said before, you won't be known as the P Republican Party any longer. You'll be remembered as the party of terrorism. The party that let a terrorist attack happen on, on American soil. You might as well be the American Al-Qaeda, the American ISIS. You might as well be the, the second gunman on the grassy knoll. You might as well be every domestic terrorist that this country has ever had in history. Because you're not patriots. You're not Republicans. You're not stewards of freedom. You're not constitutionalists. You're not even Americans. And I know a lot of you who watch this are going to hate my guts for saying that. I don't give a damn. I don't care. You let a terrorist attack happen on American soil and you're, and you're breaking your backs trying to, trying to defend this guy, trying to defend Donald Trump because somehow he's going to make you president someday by his endorsement. Even if he endorsed you, his word means little than cat piss to me at this point. At this point, even if he wanted to endorse you, What's his word going to be? He's the first president that's been impeached twice. Uh, the first president ever to, to push a terrorist attack on his own damn country. Do the right thing for once in your lives. Convict Trump. Because the evidence against him is mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting. And it doesn't matter how many lawyers Trump has on, on retainer. He's going to get it convicted. And one last thing before I leave. Everyone pretty much knows this by now. But the, the, the Georgia um, state government is opening an investigation into the phone call that Donald Trump made to the, Secretary of, to the General Georgia Secretary of State to help him find votes, to help him swing the state the other direction. And I'm not, and I, I have to believe that he's not the, that that's not the only state he did it in. The case is mounting against Trump. Now you can either get on board with the idea of saving your country, saving your party, and convicting Trump, or you can be known as the party that let a terrorist attack happen. And I, excuse me, and I really don't think, as I said before on my page on Facebook, I really don't think you want to see that on a campaign ad. And I really don't think you want to see me on Twitter, Facebook, naming every single one of you Republicans by name. I got nothing but time and opportunity. I don't think you want to see me. I really don't think you want to see me naming every single one of you as terrorists. The R next to your names, to, next to the state you represent, will now stand for T, as in terrorist. CTP, know the truth. God bless. More to come as soon as I can. Peace to the left. Justice to the right. Convict Trump.